。嗨，大家好，今天这期视频，我们要聊聊一个彻底改写科技史的重大突破——谷歌最新的量子晶片 v i l o 说到这里，如果你以为这只是另一个高科技话题，那你可能低估它的颠覆性了。想象一下，一个计算问题，如果交给当前最快的超级电脑 Frontier 来算。得花上十亿亿年的时间，这可比宇宙的年龄还要久。而 v i l o 呢，只用了五分钟，这一刻绝对是要载入史册的。量子晶片的速度革命，我们先从这个逆天的速度说起。v i l o 用了不到三百秒，完成了一个名为随机电路取样 （RCS） 的基准测试。这是什么概念呢？它测试的是量子电脑解决传统电脑无法处理的问题的能力。简单点说，它是一个入门试炼，但对超算来说，却是地狱级难度。为什么超算算这么久？因为它需要处理大量可能性的组合，过程中还得把记忆体、速度、储存空间拉到极限。而量子电脑呢？因为它操作的是量子态。直接跳过很多中间步骤，相当于在多个平行宇宙中同步开挂。这就是为什么 v i l o 的成绩如此震撼，甚至有人说它已经展现了多重宇宙运算的影子。v i l o 的技术突破，但 v i l o 的厉害不仅仅是快而已，它还解决了一个困扰量子计算界近三十年的难题——纠错问题。大家知道，量子运算的核心是量子位元。但这些位元脆弱的像玻璃心，稍微干扰一下就出错了。早期的量子晶片，随着量子位元数量增加，错误率也跟着飙升，导致效率直线下降。但 v i l o 呢？不仅量子位元数量增加到了105个，还成功让错误率呈现指数级下降。这意味着，量子纠错技术从理论变成了现实。谷歌是怎么做到的？他们用一种叫表面码的方式，把量子位元分组形成网格，每个网格都可以自己检测并修正错误。更神奇的是，随着这些网格规模扩大，错误修正能力不减反增，最终 v i l o 实现了一个历史性成就——低于阈值，也就是错误修正开始变得有益而非有害。这是量子计算迈向实用化的关键一步。谷歌背后的努力，聊到这里，必须给谷歌点个赞。从2012年他们成立量子 AI 实验室，到现在的 v i l o 这背后是300多人花了整整12年的心血。他们甚至在加州建了一个专属的量子晶片制造工厂，全球屈指可数的那种，完全是为量子计算量身打造。这一次的发表会阵容也很豪华，谷歌的量子 AI 大佬们，谷歌量子 AI 团队创办人兼负责人 Hartmut Naven， 研究主管科学家 Michael Newman， 量子硬体主管 Julian Kelly， 总监兼营运长 k a r i n a Zhou 亲自上阵，足以看出这项研究的重要性。尤其是团队创办人兼负责人 Naven， 他说的很感性。v i l o 是我们实现实用量子计算的重要一步，未来它将帮助人类解决很多无法想象的挑战。商业互吹，量子加 AI 的未来。这边谷歌忙着发布新成果，那边 AI 圈的大佬们也默闲着。谷歌 CEO 皮查伊在上官宣后 ，OpenAI 的奥特曼马上送上祝贺，还说量子加 AI 的多重宇宙未来将至，甚至连马斯克也来凑热闹。聊到了用 SpaceX 星舰建造量子集群的可能性，这画面感是不是太酷了？将改变世界的应用。那么 v i l o 除了震惊全球，还能带来什么实际应用呢？其实，量子计算早就被寄予厚望，比如新药研发、模拟分子行为、加速找到治疗疾病的方法、新能源、设计更高效的电动车电池。核聚变帮助实现干净无限的能源，传统电脑无法解决的很多问题，都有可能在量子计算中找到答案。
，展望未来，从一百零五到一百万。目前 ，Vivo 已经是个突破，但一百零五个量子位元还不够，要建造真正的大规模量子电脑，可能需要上百万个量子位元。虽然距离这个目标还有很长的路要走，但有了低于阈值这个关键成就。每一次技术改进都会带来指数级的效果。谷歌 v i v o 量子晶片的问世，无疑是科技界的一大里程碑。为了让你能直接了解这一成就，谷歌发表会上，量子硬体主管周岩看里的产品介绍讲解值得一读。为此，下面我们特此推荐。Hi, I'm Julian Kelly, Director of Hardware at Google Quantum AI, and today, on behalf of our amazing team, I'm proud to announce Willow. Willow is Google's newest and most powerful superconducting quantum computing chip, and the next step in our path towards building large-scale quantum computers and exploring their applications. I have been fascinated with quantum computing since I first experimented with Qubits in 2008. And since coming to Google in 2015, it has been a dream to make our mission a reality: building quantum computers for otherwise unsolvable problems. We launched our first chip, Foxtail, in 2017, followed by Bristlecone in 2018, and Sycamore in 2019, which powered our milestone one, the first quantum computer to surpass the best classical supercomputer on a computational task. Random circuit sampling. Over the years with Sycamore, we have been able to squeeze a remarkable amount of performance from our hardware, including achieving a scalable logical qubit in our milestone two. While we have ultimately been limited by quantum coherence times, the length of time qubits maintain their intended state. With Willow, we've made a huge step forward. We've increased quantum coherence times by a factor of five. Going from 20 microseconds in Sycamore to 100 microseconds in Willow, and we've accomplished this all without sacrificing any of the features that made our systems so successful. This advancement was enabled by our new dedicated superconducting quantum chip fabrication facility in Santa Barbara, one of only a few in the world, and we're seeing exciting developments coming from Willow. Which has already surpassed Sycamore's breakthrough demonstrations. Our logical qubits now operate below the critical quantum error correction threshold, a long sought-after goal for the quantum computing field since the theory was discovered in the 90s, and we've achieved it for the first time with Willow. Errors are exponentially suppressed in our logical qubits. As error rates are halved each time we add physical qubits and scale from distance three. To five to seven surface codes. Additionally, our logical qubit lifetimes are now much longer than all of the lifetimes of the physical qubits that compose them. This means that even as we make our quantum chips larger and more complex by adding more qubits, we can use quantum error correction to actually improve their accuracy. We've pitted Willow against one of the world's most powerful supercomputers with the random circuit sampling benchmark. The results are pretty surprising. By our best estimates, a calculation that takes Willow under five minutes would take the fastest supercomputer ten to the twenty-five years. That's a one with twenty-five zeros following it, or a time scale way longer than the age of the universe. This result highlights the exponentially growing gap between classical and quantum computation. For certain applications, let's talk about the hardware approach we've pioneered at Google Quantum AI that makes these things possible. Our tunable qubits and couplers enable super fast gates and operations to achieve low error rates, reconfigurability to optimize hardware in situ and run multiple applications, and high connectivity to efficiently express algorithms. We leverage this tunability to enable reproducible high performance across the device. Let me explain. A challenge in superconducting qubits is that not all of them are created equal. 
Some are outliers with uncharacteristically high ears. But here's where our trainable qubits really shine. We're able to fix these outlier qubits by reconfiguring them to perform in line with the rest of the device. And we can go one step further by having our researchers use tunability to continuously develop new calibration strategies that push errors down across all qubits with software. Let's quantify this and nerd out for a minute on quantum computer tech specs. We have number of qubits. Connectivity is the average number of interactions each qubit can perform with its neighbors. We quantify error probabilities for running simultaneous operations. Single qubit gates, two qubit gates, in measurement. Coherence time measures how long each qubit can retain its information. Measurement rate is how many computations we can run per second. And application performance is a full system benchmark. Willow hits a sweet spot across the full list. It has a large number of qubits with high connectivity and can run diverse applications. We measure low mean error rates across all operations with multiple native two qubit gates. We have greatly increased T1 times. We have very high measurement rates and Willow is below the error correction threshold and performs random circuit sampling far beyond what is possible with classical computers. Looking to the future with Willow, we continue our journey towards building large-scale and useful error-corrected quantum computers that will push the boundaries of science and the exploration of nature. With future commercially useful applications in areas like pharmaceuticals, batteries, and fusion power, we are excited to solve the otherwise unsolvable problems of tomorrow. Thank you.